What era do y'all think changed basketball? When I talk about eras in the NBA, I hate comparing them to this era of basketball right now. And part of it is because I think this is the worst era of basketball that has been played since the 70s. Most people love talking about the skill set of this era. Yeah, that's fine. Everybody can dribble between the legs and everybody can shoot threes. But the IQ and mental toughness of this era is way down. And I solely blame it on the style of play. The game isn't played like a real game anymore. It's mainly focused on heavy isolation, a bunch of dribbling, and strict for entertainment purposes the positions of this game has been ruined there's no more true point guards or true centers anymore now all the point guards are scoring guards even the ones that come off the bench how is everybody on the team or every guard a point guard a scoring guard all centers shoot more threes than they do post up now carl anthony town spend the most time on the three-point line than he do in the paint and i think that's ridiculous considering the fact that he's seven foot and skilled and please don't get me started on joel curry mb as talented as he is why do he spend so much time trying to be a guard now i'm not advocating for the game to go back to being a slow pace throw it down every time type of game but i am advocating advocating for the game to go back to being logic because this NBA it's not logical at all. But my point is, who ruined the positions in basketball? In my opinion, I think that was LeBron James. Credit to him for being a great player and changing the game. But when the Miami Heat switched to that lineup where Mario Chalmers was considered the point guard, and I know everybody on 2K took Mario Chalmers out and put LeBron James at point guard, but whatever. But the Miami Heat switched to that lineup where Mario Chalmers was considered the point guard, but primarily became a jump shooter in the corners or wherever he could spot up. When they won their first championship, I think that ruined basketball. Or at least the positions of basketball. See, the logic became just give the ball to the best player on the team, surround them with shooters, and watch them be great. The problem with that is everybody ain't LeBron James, and he's the only one that can make that work. In fact, I think the best at that single theory was James Harden. This man went on a historical run where he averaged 40 points for damn near half the season. This man had the most consecutive 30 plus points per game in a single season, totaling up to 30 games. But in only 10 or 11 of them games, he actually scored 30. That means he scored 40 in at least 20 out of 30 of those games. And as crazy as dominant as that sound, he still did not win. Why? I just believe that that style of basketball isn't able to produce championships. Now, I'm a big Houston Rockets fan. I love the Rockets during that time. But you ain't gonna win like that. And that's what this league has been brought to. Everybody think they one of them ones or you can't guard me culture. So this is why we see the worst brand of basketball that we have ever seen. I remember when hoops used to be meaningful and role players did the little thing. I'm watching the old Magic versus Lakers NBA Finals from 09, and Derek Fisher did so many little things to help contribute to all the championships that him and Kobe Bryant won together. Most kids in this generation won't acknowledge how special Derek Fisher was. Most kids in this generation won't think they can take anything from Derek Fisher game, and that's a damn shame.